Hello guys, this is Blu-ray here. Uh, sorry about not updating my channel very uh, very much, but uh, recently I've been doing like two part-time jobs or something like that, and uh, I've been going to school right now, so I'm a little bit busy, but recently I bought a lot of products from ncix.ca, and on their product page they have these discounts, and they also have these in mail rebates. Now what these rebates do is that you have to do some sort of process to get to actually get that money back, which means that you actually get a little bit discount from your products. Although uh, the mail in rebate usually takes like one or two months to actually process. I'm actually waiting for one of my rebates to come back that it did all the way back during November. And right now they're telling me they're gonna send one uh, on around in January. So in this video uh, I'm going to show you a little quick steps um, basically steps how to do your rebates so let's get to it step one make sure you have everything with you so in this example I'm gonna use a GX2 650 watt power supply as my example and basically you need to have the product box when you buy an electronic product if you need to have a return or you need uh, to do a rebate it's better to keep the box itself and when you flip to the side there is the UPC code as well as the serial number well as um, different companies they have different ways of doing it but as for my example they they just need my UPC code and the next thing you need is to go on to whatever manufacturers website um, try to find a website link that provides you the serial uh, provides you the paper to get your rebate um, as for my example, I have to paste the FX UPC code on the top right hand corner where I circled it. Uh, for this video purpose, I don't want to share any of my information out there, so I'm going to blur it out in this video. The next thing you need to know is to uh, basically you have to buy an envelope. <coughs> you can't really get your rebate through online. You actually legitimately have to send the UPC code to the provided address that it gave you. Um, just buy a simple envelope, uh, put all the cut off the UPC code and throw everything in there. And the last thing you need to have is a printed copy of your receipt. Um, you're not gonna actually send your real receipt over there. You can just find a copying machine, um, scan it, print it out, and basically put inside the envelope as well. So these are the four essential things that you need to send to the company, which is the box, the UPC code, the envelope, and uh, the printed paper from the manufacturing website. Step two, cutting off the UPC code off from the box. So I got my box here, and in most cases, these companies, what they want to do is, um, whoa, whoops, you actually need your UPC code, the, um, an actual physical copy of, of the UPC code, paste it on one of their papers or inside the envelope. So unfortunately, I have a really pretty box here, but since I want that $15, I think it's a little bit worth of cutting out just a piece of UPC code on the box. Step three, attach the UPC code and put it inside the envelope. So, after some hardcore cardboard cutting, I managed to get my UPC on. And um, in this case, I actually have to paste this thing on my piece of paper and then mail it in. As for the final step, you need to make sure you have the paper, the UPC code, and the receipt all inside the envelope. And remember to seal it tight, as this is how you get your money. Alright, so I got my UPC code pasted on the piece of paper. I got a copy of my receipt and I got an envelope. Now all I have to do is stamp it, go outside and basically mail it out. And that's pretty much it. And you're ready to go and wait for that two months and you get your money back. Alright, so thanks for watching guys and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm trying to go for more of an informative video and at the same time I want to be entertaining so the video won't be that boring to watch. So if you want to, in the future, if you want to watch like more informative slash entertaining videos, please subscribe to my channel and remember to like this video and comment below. Thank you.